Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to be looking at the boss fight uh, against Imrod the Unrelentant. He's likely to be the first major boss uh, that you fight, uh, that you come across in Mortal Shell. Uh, so you'll find him at the end of the Shrine of Ash area. For this fight I'm using Harris the Vassal and I'm using the Hollowed Sword. I've got the Mechanical Spike in there and it is also upgraded to plus five so we're putting out a fair bit of damage um, it's also worthwhile uh, going into boss fights with at least um, two bars of resolve uh, ideally full resolve so that way you can make the most of your weapon's special abilities now although Imrod uh, looks pretty terrifying um, he's pretty slow and cumbersome if I'm honest so uh, keeping your wits about you you can avoid most of his attacks quite easily. Uh, this is my first attempt on him and I was able to kill him. I do get knocked out of shell once, um, but it wasn't too taxing. As you can see, his health going down very, very quickly with the upgraded sword. So as you can see, his attacks uh, in this first phase, they're all really well telegraphed. So if you're good at parrying, very, very easy to parry uh, to keep health up that way. As you can see, if you get too close there, he will breathe fire on you. But if you look at the health bar uh, on my character, it's not doing an awful lot of damage. Easy enough to heal through, no problem at all. Um, all of his attacks in this phase, they're all these big swingy ones. They're so well telegraphed. Big swings, big smashes, very easy to back out of the way. And um, If you do get too far away from him, he will also uh, charge into you. Uh, his health flew down so quick I didn't notice we were into the second phase here. Um, the main difference here, as you just saw then, is he will go to the bodies that lie on the ground, light them on fire, and then attempt to throw them at you. And although that might seem quite terrifying, it actually is a, a massive weakness of his. Um, when he's got one of the bodies, it's well, once again, I've used the word telegraphed a lot here, but I'm going to use it one more time. It's very well telegraphed because he just simply strolls over really, really slowly, like he's having a walk in the park, giving you plenty of time to either heal up if you need to, or run up to him, attack him in the back. If you've got uh, a weapon ability available, that is the perfect time to use it. He's just completely indefensible. So, to sum up this boss, just take it nice and easy uh, you don't need to be overly aggressive it leaves you so many openings um, you know, get in there a couple of quick attacks get out use harden if you need to uh, really really straightforward once again with all the all the bosses all the slightly tougher fights in this game don't be greedy even when you're sort of near the end don't try and get that one extra hit in because um, that could result in you failing and having to do it all over again but that is Imrod, so I hope you found this useful. Um, hopefully it helps you in taking him down very, very quickly. Thanks for watching. Uh, we will see you in the next video.